welcome YouTube. My name is Corey Madison. Thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, and as you can tell from my face, I think it's time for a little rebrand, okay? I think it's time for a little bit of a, como se dice, a glow up. Not to say in a sense that I am not already glowing, but glow more. Because that's what a glow up is. You're glowing higher. You're glowing more. You're taking the glow and you're upping it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. So today uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a glow up, but it has a little bit of a twist on it because you see these girls out here, they be spending a thousand dollars glowing up. I'm not going to do that because while it, like glowing up is important and looking good is important to me, um, also having food in the fridge is also like important. So we're going to be pretty budget friendly today. So if you are a girl out there who's like me and is born on a budget but still wants to look like a baddie yoni 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 yana, that's not a problem, sis. I got you. So without further ado and no more interruptions, you read the title. So let's just get straight into this video. Let's go. So the first step in this equation is my hair. So my hair, I took it out of the wig. I had it in a wig, if you guys didn't know. But it's a little too hot for a wig, to be honest. I did it for my birthday, and it was cute for the occasion. And also, I went to Mexico. Go watch that vlog, by the way. Vlog is up if you want to watch it. But yeah, it was a little too hot. So we're gonna do something else. Um, I have to go to the hair salon first because I have to get a haircut. So we're just gonna blow dry this out so she can cut it and stuff because I know you can technically cut 4C hair without blow drying it, but I would just prefer to just blow dry it, knock it out real quick, and then I need my hair blow dried anyway for the style I'm gonna do. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So yeah, let me just blow dry this out. Guys, I was detangling my hair yesterday. Please excuse my chip for the part. I was detangling my hair. And like look, it literally looks like a hair salon already is here. Like my room is the hair salon. As you can see, the ends are just so bad. So that's why I'm gonna get it professionally cut because I have never gotten my hair professionally cut in my life ever. Like in my 20 years of being alive, I've never got it done professionally. So we're gonna do that. So let's go to the salon. I wish it was this long though, that'd be great. <laughs> I mean, it is this long, but I mean this long, wet. But that ain't gonna happen because I was born with 4Z hair, so. All right, hey guys, she did a great job. Thank you, my love. Period. Oh, now I'm gonna go shopping. <laughs> so I got my hair cut. It looks pretty darn cute. I mean, it's a little frizzy, but like in terms of like length and stuff, it looks cute. And I also have a, a white, I have a, also have like a silver hair. I already have a gray. Oh, there it is. Yeah, have a gray. <laughs> anyway, so next stop on our little journey to beauty. We're gonna keep chugging and lugging along. Um, I'll probably do like maybe my nails. It's, baby, I'm trying to be beautiful in the summer. Period, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, what's up y'all? So we are back, we are back home sweet home and I wanted to show you some of the things I bought from Ulta while I was there. Call this a little como se dice mini haul or whatever. So I got some stuff for you. Give you a little thumbnail. So, the first thing I got was this James Charles Eye Brush Palette. This isn't actually for me, it's for my cousin. Um, but yeah, I got it. And it was like 50 bucks, but I got it on sale. But I was really like, yo, why is this so expensive? I don't know. But yeah. Then I got some of the Curlsmith products. So the first thing I got was the Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream. This is basically like a leave-in conditioner. Um, because when I went to the salon, the girl was literally like, your hair is very dry. Which, I mean, you could probably tell. But she was like, your hair is very much dry, sis. Do better. And I was like, you're right. So I got this leave-in, and I also got um, their Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash as well. Um, because I use the As I Am co-wash, and I like it, but it was just too small. And I also prefer to pump, and I also wanted to try the Curlsmith. So I got this one as well. And then I got this Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Anti-Frizz 
moisturizing finishing spray so I wanted to try this like for um, cuz I'm doing full locks to like spray my scalp and see if that'll help because I know some stylists said not to put oil in your scalp some do I normally put oil in my scalp but my scalp is still dry so I want to try something else so this is basically just like a finishing spray and it's also anti frizz which is great because Florida is Florida and it's super humid so I grabbed this and then finally I got the DHC deep cleansing oil this is for my face I've been using a lot of um, waterproof makeup lately and it's been like not washing off and especially on like my eyes um, so like when I try and like wash my face or something there's still like glue in my eyelids and I have to like pick it out with a tweezer um, so I want to try this because it literally says it's like the ultimate makeup remover so we'll see um, but yeah so grab that as well so now that my little baby haul is done uh, we're gonna start my hair I have it with me let me show you so I ordered this pack of hair off of Amazon I will leave it linked down below in case you guys want to buy it um, but it is the faux locks that I got in this really pretty brown color um, and we're gonna be installing these today by ourselves period because we're batty on a DIY save a little bit of money girls so yeah I want to try some faux locks these are 24 inches I think and I hope the color looks good i feel like it's just gonna look so different i've had black hair literally all my life so this is like kind of scary but i think hopefully it'll turn out good so we're gonna get started on that because that's gonna take me a while okay so i also real quick just want to show you the products that i'm using this isn't going to be like a full full tutorial because that would take way too long but in case you're curious um about what you might need for crochet to do it yourself this i'm gonna just let you know uh so the first thing is you need some sort of um gel or styling gel because it's like similar to box braids so i'm just getting the let's jam uh control and shine um my hair stylist always uses this on my box braids and my hair turns out pretty good so i got some of my own i have two combs with me today one is a wide tooth one is a okay one is a rat tail the other one is wide tooth um, one is for parting and detangling you already know the drill also for tools I have some crochet needles so I have two of them one of them is a little bigger the other one's smaller I usually like to use the smaller one for like the very front of my hair because you have to hook the hook under the um, part and sometimes this is just way too big and I don't want to break the front of my hair it's already <laughs> it's already breaking so <laughs> um, so yeah two different types of crochet needles I have some rubber bands because we're doing a rubber band method. I know some people don't really love the rubber band method and says it causes breakage. Um, you're probably not wrong, but I'm still going to use them anyway. So Then I just have some hair clips to clip my hair, uh, hold stuff back, self-explanatory. And then finally I have the actual hair itself, which I already showed. So let's get to it. The next day. What's up, y'all? So it is the next day. I finished my hair. She came out pretty cute. And like I said, this is the first time I'm doing colors, so I'm pretty proud. Um, but next, we're going to go get my brows done. I'm getting them waxed. I'm also getting them waxed at Ulta as well because I know the Benefit Brow Girl. Her name is Caitlin. Go follow the skincare page, by the way. Um, yeah, so she's going to be doing my brows today. Um, I'm literally just getting a wax and this is the first time I'm ev I've ever gotten um, an eyebrow wax I've gotten them threaded but like very very lightly it was literally just to see what the vibes were like but today I'm getting like full-on waxation so I'm a little scared but like it's time like my brows literally look crazy and then after that I have to go to work like literally immediately so today is a busy busy day but uh, we are chucking along uh, so yeah, I'm here. Let's. You see how it's on the back? Let's go inside. Hey, my brows. My legs. Do you know how we did it? We're at the Benefit Brow Bar, guys. It's getting a little waxy wax. Give me sign my life away. Look at her. Look at her. What's she gonna do to me? Why do I gotta sign this for? Hmm? <laughs> Look at me, y'all. She did me right. Look at that. What's up y'all <laughs> what's up guys so it is a little bit after my appointment I just got back um, so I was thinking at this point first of all let's take a moment to appreciate my brows done by Miss Caitlin thank you so much um, so yeah I was thinking the next thing that we could do which I thought was super fun is I actually wanted to get some temporary tattoos because they're gonna be a little edgy Ooh, a little edgy Ooh. 
want to try. I really want to do like the scatter tattoos, the ones that are kind of just everywhere, like they're just like random and they're just like all over your arms. I actually did another temporary tattoo, I did like a little B, but he kind of got a little, I don't know if you can see that, but he kind of got a little fucked up on this side when I took a shower. <laughs> I'm so sad because this one's actually really cute. I picked a few, so we're just gonna smack them on my very bare arms. I actually do want to get a tattoo for realsies. Um, several actually. Um, so this will kind of be like the first step in seeing if I can commit <laughs> to getting temporary tattoos because I'll be honest with you, I have committal issues and so I don't know if I can commit to having the same thing on my body for life. Um, so this will be like a trial to see if I can do it. freaking biker or something I don't know they came out cute like it's just cute I think it's because I just know it's not a real tattoo though actually this bee that I was talking about before I actually really like it like actually like I might just get a bee <laughs> on my arm but yeah so we're, we're, we're yatted up uh, for the gods so the next step is nails now y'all don't know this about me but recently I started making my own nails my own press oney 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 nails so we're gonna be doing that next I'm thinking of going with a really pretty like honey brown color kind of almost to go with my hair actually in a sense but yeah oh and I forgot I put a tattoo on my neck <laughs> so let's get started with that okay so these are the nails I did not do that on purpose I swear to God nails they're like a pretty brown color and I'm gonna take the glue that I got the other day listen I don't want no lawsuits guys I'm so for reals I'm so for serious right now do not do not try this at home I'm gonna put it on the screen do not try this So it looks like this, and I think you just do a whole brush on. Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's basically like brush on super glue. <laughs> so let me get my nail buffer. Hold on. Okay, so you're gonna take your buffer, and I just like to buff the nail. It helps uh, the glue adhere a lot better. <laughs> okay, I take the super glue. Brush some of that on. Oh my gosh, this is literally exactly what I needed. And you're, if you cannot see what I'm doing, please. <clears throat> okay, so you're basically gonna take your nail with its glue, and then you're gonna press the nail kind of down into the cuticle first, and then you're gonna kind of hold it on like that. And then you wanna hold for like a few seconds. It's like, look at that nail. Oh, I like the color. It's kind of fall vibes, honestly. I might do this again in like the fall. But yeah, so let me finish this up. <laughs> I put on my press on nails. I think they look so stunning. I love this color. Alright guys, so that is going to do for this video. Comment down below and let me know what was your favorite part. I know for me, I really enjoyed pampering myself and getting my hair done and my brows done. While that isn't a weekly thing, that's usually like a bi-weekly, once a monthly type of thing. But I really did enjoy myself. I really did um, have fun. But that is going to do it. So like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment of your thoughts. Make sure to smile. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to ring that bell notification button right after you subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!